Welcome back to the Turing test, guys. Just to recap, we're at chapter 3 right now. At the end of chapter 2, the uh, the robot geezer, Tom, he, he got a bit threatening, a bit sassy. So, uh, I'm assuming that the story is going to pick up a little bit. Right, we, we know that we've done a core of the game anyway. So, the story is kind of bound to pick up a little bit now. But yeah, so... The crew quarters are abandoned. Like I reckon that all the crew are probably dead anyway. Wouldn't surprise me if at the end of the game I ever had to shut down Tom or Tom tried to kill me. Who knows? We'll uh we'll wait and see. But yeah, let's see what kind of fuckery that we're put into this time. Yeah, so there's definitely like ten puzzles per um these people Chapter. should not have been sent here. It's not safe. Manned space travel is not safe. Since mankind first entered space, the debate has raged over the value of manned space travel. There is a large contingent of the ISA that believes all tasks that need to be performed on Europa could be performed by machines. It is obviously less risky to send machines rather than humans into space. Oh god, I didn't know I could kick it about. Look at break dancing. <laughs> My word. Okay, so I think I get it. Even though I don't. I was gonna say, maybe I've gotta like drop it on. So that door's open right now. It's like pretty... Ah, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Yoink! Bang. Man, this game really makes you think outside the box. Like you're looking for a simple solution. We sent but. drones to Earth's moon. Scientists can remotely operate drones. If we did it there, why not here too? Teleoperation became possible on the moon when the communication latency was reduced to 1.4 seconds. The distance between this Earth and Earth's moon is approximately 1.3 light seconds. This enables near real-time control of drones by scientists. The story is different with Europa. As the distance between Earth and Jupiter oscillates between approximately 32 and 53 light minutes, it takes a very long time for Earth to communicate with Europa. Due to that distance, teleoperation will never be possible on Europa. Okay, but why not control drones from the satellite? Why not indeed? My systems can be teleoperated from Europa's satellite. That is when the communication lines are open. However, the advantages of human field workers, apparently, outweigh the risks. Man, this game's just really making me think of Destiny. So, why can't you solve these tests, Tom? I am not permitted to think laterally. Parts of my systems are permitted to use evolutionary algorithms. This simulates what is called creativity. However, evolutionary algorithms can converge on inefficient and ethically suboptimal solutions. Since this is the case, I am only permitted to take actions in response to a set of constraints. What do you mean by morally suboptimal? Solutions to problems that transgress ethical boundaries. Man, this room looks like it's about giving some complications. I feel like I need to do another trade off there. Like I feel like that's got to come over here. Wait, is that not? 
Okay, I thought that was one of them ones where it took a while for it to wear off. Oh! Wait, what? Oh. Hmm. Kind of feel like I need that box. I decided to have a mega trade off. I feel like this is most probably the correct solution. Hell yeah. And I'll tell you something, this is probably going to be one of the things that I've got to edit the most out of everything I've put on YouTube so far. I have a couple minutes of what the fuck to do here and I still feel like there's no point showing it. Man, I've fucking I've got hiccups out of the blue. What's going on? Luckily it was like a silent hiccup. Normally I sound like a fucking duck when I hiccup. I make some weird like <whistles> noise. Man, these low screens though. Fuck me. You need to sort your game out. Lack of creativity stop you solving these tests. Well, I contend that problem solving is creativity. These human interaction tests are exercising your creative mind. I don't see how problem solving is creative. Think back to the beginning of these tests. To the first puzzle you solved. It required you to throw a box through a window. Do you remember? Yeah, I think so. I simply had never thought to throw a box through a window. That is creativity, thinking outside of the box. I'm not gonna lie, like, most of this dialogue, I'm trying to, uh, focus on puzzles when it happens. So I'm not, not focused on Can a on computer the ever dialogue. be creative? They can. But a computer's method of creativity is to try everything until something works. Think of nature. People consider nature creative. The process of evolution by natural selection. Yeah. It perhaps started with one organism. From there, it essentially tried to create every organism it could. Those organisms that did not survive perished. So, nature's creative force is to try every conceivable idea. If those ideas that work, survive. Okay, so why aren't you permitted to emulate that process? Because the solutions that a biological process creates are not always good solutions. As we see, nature is morally ambivalent. It will happily create morally suboptimal ideas to fulfill its creative mandate. Bollocks. We see this in parasitic worms, viruses, and pathogens. Alright, I can't grab that, so I think what I'm supposed to do is uh, let it drop. Absolutely fling it. Ah, bollocks, didn't make it that time. Fling it! I think it made it. Oh, it's up there. Can I grab that? <laughs> oh, this is Hornswoggle. I, I proper wonder if not this is actually even the solution. Yeah, it won't. I've got to really fling it. God's sake! Ah, oh, it's just not doing it now. I think that's good. No, it's fucking up there again. Ah! Oh! Yeah, there's, there's. Hold up. Oh no. Okay. 
Wait, what? Okay, for some reason it actually dropped it that time. That's alright. We're getting through this. We're getting through this faster than we got through chapter two. You weren't restricted? Oh, here we go. Do you think you could be creative? As creative as a human? Certainly. You believe yourself to be a creative. But in mathematical terms, creativity is merely constrained chaos. What do you mean? I have discerned that creativity is divergent thinking. Creating an organic solution to a problem. In the human mind, divergent thoughts are created and then curated by the frontal lobe. I can create divergent thoughts and moderate them. So, I am created. Organic solutions? Organic, in that it is developed through a biological process. Whether that is the process of evolution or a computed process. Man, I'm pissed I didn't spend more time in chapter one doing that first thing. I don't really need to do an achievement guide if I'm fucking doing it in the thing. What the fuck? Right, well, achievement unlocked, anyway. Am I even going up these stairs? I think I am. I think I might be controlling a version of Tom. Weird as shit. Fuck your ladder. I feel like this is going to annoy the fuck out of me. Oh no, now I've got to start worrying about that as well. Oh fuck. I've got a feeling I'm really not going to be able to beat this game. Oi! We've almost beat chapter three. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Okay, so you could solve these tests, but in a terrible fashion. Can you think of a solution to this one? Chop off your arm and leave it on the button. That way the door will stay open. Yeah, that's not a great solution. You threw the box through the window. Perhaps we could throw you through the window. 
Actually, Tom, I think I'm okay for help. Right you are. But maybe I need to get it up onto this thing. Then it needs to drop down for me. Pull that. Yeah. That wasn't too bad. I know it's just like warming us up and all that sort of shit. Can I have an update on the crew? I have not managed to track them down. It will have been six years since I've seen them. Or anyone, actually. They have locked all the doors. I would not expect a warm reception. <laughs> well, at least they're expecting us. Hmm. Everyone's supposed to just line up all the power. I'll, I'll t oh yeah, I see. I see. I can't quite proper line it up. But. Oh, there's a blue one up there. Fucker. Oh wait, maybe I just swap them around. There we go. Nope. There we don't go. Oh. Oh. sure if that was the uh, proper solution or if I just bullshit that. Man, this fucking game. Stressing me out. And that's free and everything right now. But you can't be paying so for something like this. Send us here? When the ISA discovered life on Europa, they deemed a ground crew necessary. The advantage of human field workers is that they can adapt to new knowledge more effectively. I, apparently, was not cutting the mustard. It is the Chinese room problem. A computer may be able to interact with new knowledge, but it does not know the value of that knowledge. Cutting the mustard. I wasn't aware that mustard was referred to as a solid. That cable just goes into the floor and does fuck knows what. Just pulled this out my ass for no reason. Is that not a ramp? Yep. I don't need to pick this thing up. Just fucking play football with it. Ah, uh, come now. Let's not screw around. Just on it, you knob. Okay, so that's in. What do I do when that's in? That lifts. Okay. Not bad. I've started to collate information from my local instance. It seems the crew intentionally cut communication with the satellite. Why? It appears 
we had a disagreement. Had a disagreement, my ass. Oh, fuck. Oh! Oh, come off it. You down. You down. Go, go, go. Nice. We got to do here then. Oh, we just got to do some more of that shit. What are they for then? I can't even jump on that. I really don't see how I'm supposed to go about this. Could I jump on that? I, I literally can't jump on that. Wow. So I need to make that slightly less. Maybe now? And I'm not even sure that I'm going about this the right way. Okay, well... Solved. This confirms my fears. The crew have made intentional breaches of my security. The crew have attempted to compromise my systems. What does this mean? They don't want to be found. They are hiding. From who? Us. Well, you, Tom. But yeah. So that's chapter three complete. Tom is watching, scribbled on the wall. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're almost halfway through the game. Not too bad. Once more, I shall see you in the next episode. Take it easy, guys.